Chinese culture was not only a very long culture, but also the most intellectually rich, whether it was design or film or poetry or uh, philosophy uh, and art, so much was happening culturally and it fascinated me. I'd done a major show at the 10th floor of Sotheby's in uh, New York uh, on Chinese contemporary art, the first major exhibition of Chinese contemporary art anywhere in the world really. The best Chinese ink painters today are interested in connecting with the past and finding a way to transfer the cultural values of the past into works which are contemporary and meaningful to today's society. And like Picasso and Braque and Kandinsky and Cezanne, ink artists in China are looking back, as the Western artists did, at the old masters, at their old masters of the Song period, the Yuan period, the Ming period, trying to find a way to connect uh, contemporary art with your past, your great past. It is quite true that the, in the last few years there's been a dip of interest to some extent in Chinese contemporary art in general and Chinese ink painting in particular and there's been a shift of interest into other areas of the world like African art etc. It's undervalued in relation to Western contemporary art, 20 or 30 or 40 percent lower than equivalent art in the West. Also less expensive than Chinese contemporary art is so-called more aggressive avant-garde. Oil paintings also less than them. So it is rather an opportunity, in my view, for young collectors all over the world, actually. And we're selling a lot to young collectors in the West, in America, and in Paris, and in Geneva, and in London. Collectors from Singapore, and Taiwan, and Hong Kong. We're selling Chinese ink artists because it's good value, because they are undervalued. So I hope that Collectors, young collectors in mainland, will be attracted to what is happening in the Chinese ink world. My own view is that Chinese ink artists who are working at an international level um, and are appealing to an international audience, that their work is so good in terms of aesthetic quality, of fundamentals, that the uh, interest will revive again when people have gone through their next fashion and will come back to quality, hardcore quality. And that's what I've always been interested in all my dealing life. I'm not interested in the um, waves of fashion at all. I'm interested in trying to identify the best possible artists doing the best possible work. By beauty, just by what you like visually what appeals to you. It's really what you love that counts, what you respond to, what you'd like to have in your home. China is the, the dominant reality for the rest of history. It, it may be a slight exaggeration, but there is some truth to it. Uh, I think access to these artists and what they're doing is exhilarating. It uh, makes me uh, enjoy life more. It expands my understanding of China and of Asia. Uh, China's huge impact on the world today and um, uh, makes me optimistic for the future. <laughs>